park the trailer on a level surface. The leveling will be done by lifting the nose. Ensure that the jockey wheel is tightened properly. The handbrake is pulled up and lift the nose by turning the lever as shown. Release the tilt legs which is positioned at the back of the trailer. These legs are not for leveling but only to prevent the trailer from tilting. Release the roof levers and safety straps to lift the roof. Remove the TP section before commencing. Open the side awning only halfway. Remove the tent poles and then continue by opening the bag. The two shorter poles are for the sides and the longer tent pole will be for the center of the awning. Use the T-piece to lift the awning. Secure it with the R-clip and now insert the center pole. Fasten the rope by creating a loop around the tent pole. This way the rope is pulled down and then to the side. Slide the draft sheet in place as demonstrated. Slide in the back panel and secure to the top end with the velcro strips. Please note that the TPs will not be fitted at the back of the caravan. This section will be used as a shower and bathroom area. Open the side awning only halfway. Remove the tent poles and then continue by opening the bag. These panels are not the conventional canvas but a different nylon material. Open the fly sheet before the front room is erected. The awning and rods can also be accessed from inside the commander by opening the fly screen. Release the latches on both sides of the base. Now release the R clip. Take the A framed legs and rest them on the trailer's nose frame. Pull the tent over the velcro covered corners of the base. Lift the tent frame and tie the corner straps. Now lift the center support and extend the uprights.
roll down the fly sheet for the roof. Insert the 8mm rod into the bracket at the bottom of the bed. The straight end must pass through both holes until it reaches the stopper at the back. Use the corner straps as demonstrated. The other two rods will be installed at the sides of the bed. Please note that the plastic cover must not be opened to the fullest extent, but must be inserted with the plug. Switch on the main switch. The red AC light will come on. Now charge the batteries by switching on the battery isolator. These lights will indicate the battery strength. The battery charger can be activated. The outlet switch will supply power to the fridge, lights and all other plug points. The last switch is for the lighter and water pump. If you prefer to have your geyser on 220 volts instead of gas, you can do this by switching on the geyser isolator and then the geyser switch. First the pump and then the on switch. Select then the electric option. The geyser will heat up the water within 45 minutes. To run the geyser on gas, you have to connect the gas bottle, switch on the pump, then the on switch and the gas option. A 220 volt plug is also available by the switch on the 220 volt isolator. The grocery compartment has a serving table with a utility bag inside the door. Underneath the grocery compartment is additional storage space. The fluorescent light will easily clip onto the tent frame. The mini bar and utility bags are placed inside the door. Behind the door is the multi-plug, the 220 power supply and the 12 volt socket. The pressurized fan prevents dust from entering the caravan. The rest of the kitchen unfolds by pulling the kitchen drawer. It further extends by unfolding the basin's bracket. A gas stove will ignite by pressing this button and also control each burner separately. Underneath the stove is the cutlery drawers to cater for up to six people, as well as the fridge. Inside the commander is a serving table. The fridge can be accessed from inside the commander by lifting the front bed mattress.
The bedroom can convert into a dining room by using the base as a table. Open the blinds for additional ventilation and fresh air. Please note that the kitchen, the bedroom and the bathroom is easy accessible. At the back of the commander is the 150 litre water tank refills. The commander is also fitted with a spare hub which is used on the stub axles. This can be used as an emergency axle. The spare wheel is fitted on this spare hub. Cover the spare wheel with the most important utility, the self-standing bry, and secure it with the safety straps. Two jerry cans are at the back and of both sides of the spare wheel. Install the eyelets to fasten goods stored in the carrier to a maximum of 50 kilograms. Connect the gas stove and taps by connecting the red and blue hoses as well as the gas connector. The pressurized water pump pushes 12 liter per minute at 35 psi. The bathroom section has plenty storage space and full bathroom facilities. Additional storage space is behind the shower compartment. The shower taps are strategically positioned. Once the divider is installed, a front cover will complete the shower area. The geyser is stored in the nose cone, but make sure to remove the dust cover before use. A spade acts. The tent can easily be rolled and tucked away by a single person. Fasten the ends to the Velcro connectors as shown. Please note that the Velcro strips must be loosened before the canvas is finally tucked away. Zip the bag halfway and place the tent poles inside the bag. Strap the tent poles together with the canvas and Zip up the bag. Remember to put the rods inside the front compartment. Get on top of the nose cone and fold the cover tent as demonstrated. Ensure that all the canvas is neatly tucked away and lock the front panel. Secure the A-frame with the R-clip. Use this bracket to ease the fastening and loosening procedure of the front bed. 